For decades following World War II, Japan adhered to a strict pacifist constitution. This document, Article 9, renounced war and the use of force to settle international disputes. However, the geopolitical landscape has shifted dramatically in recent years. Rising tensions in the Asia-Pacific region coupled with evolving military threats have forced Japan to rethink its defense strategy. This strategic shift began subtly, with a focus on economic prowess and technological innovation. Japan quickly became a global leader in robotics, particularly in industrial automation. This expertise initially intended for civilian purposes, laid the foundation for a gradual but significant military robotics program. The turning point came in the early 21st century. North Korea's missile tests and China's growing assertiveness in the East China Sea pushed Japan to bolster its defense capabilities. The government increased defense spending, loosened restrictions on military technology development, and began actively investing in robotics and autonomous systems. This marked a significant departure from its post-war pacifism. Japan, while still committed to peaceful resolutions, now recognizes the need for a robust defense posture in an increasingly uncertain world. This new approach relies heavily on cutting-edge technology, with robotics at the forefront. Japan's investment in unmanned ground vehicles, or UGVs, reflects a global trend towards autonomous warfare. These robotic systems offer a way to enhance defense capabilities without putting human soldiers in harm's way. They can perform a variety of tasks, from reconnaissance and surveillance to logistics and even combat. One notable example is the Type 073 tank. This heavily armored vehicle, already a formidable weapon system, is being upgraded with autonomous capabilities. Equipped with advanced sensors, including LiDAR and AI-powered target recognition, the Type 073 can operate independently or as part of a networked force. Beyond tanks, Japan is developing a range of specialized UGVs. Combat engineer robots are designed for mine detection and clearance, while fire scout logistics units act as robotic pack mules, transporting supplies and equipment to troops in the field. These robots not only increase efficiency, but also reduce the risk to human personnel in dangerous environments. The development of UGVs is crucial for Japan's defense strategy. With a shrinking population and a limited pool of potential recruits, robotic systems offer a way to maintain a strong military presence without relying solely on human soldiers. While ground-based robots bolster Japan's defenses on land, unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs provide a watchful eye from the sky. These remotely piloted aircraft offer unparalleled surveillance capabilities, covering vast distances and transmitting real-time data back to command centers. The Sake surveillance drone, for example, has become a staple of Japan's maritime patrols. With its long flight time and advanced sensor suite, the Sake can monitor shipping lanes, detect potential threats, and relay crucial information to naval forces. This constant vigilance is essential for safeguarding Japan's extensive coastline and exclusive economic zone. Beyond surveillance, Japan is exploring the use of drones in more offensive roles. The AI Drone Swarm project is a prime example. This program aims to develop swarms of interconnected drones capable of overwhelming enemy defenses through sheer numbers. These drone swarms could be used for jamming enemy communications, conducting reconnaissance missions, or even carrying out coordinated attacks. However, the development of such technology raises ethical concerns about autonomous warfare. Japan, with its commitment to pacifism, faces the challenge of balancing technological advancement with ethical considerations. Japan, an island nation with a long maritime history, has also turned its attention to developing underwater robots. These submersible autonomous vehicles, or SAVs, represent a significant leap forward in naval technology, offering a stealthy and versatile platform for a range of underwater missions. Equipped with advanced sonar and other sensors, SAVs can patrol vast areas of ocean, detecting submarines, monitoring underwater infrastructure, and even planting or disarming mines. Their ability to operate autonomously for extended periods makes them ideal for long-range surveillance and intelligence gathering. The Wave Rider robot boat is another example of Japan's maritime robotics innovation. This high-speed, unmanned surface vessel can patrol coastlines, intercept suspicious vessels, and even deploy smaller drones or underwater robots for reconnaissance missions. Its speed and agility make it a valuable asset for maritime security operations. As Japan faces increasing challenges in its surrounding waters, from territorial disputes to the threat of piracy, maritime robotics will play an increasingly vital role in safeguarding its interests. Section 5 Factor Fiction Giant Mechs and the Future of Warfare You know, the image of towering robots striding across battlefields has long captured the imagination of science fiction enthusiasts. While the reality of giant mechs engaging in combat may still be a distant prospect, Japan's foray into this domain has garnered significant attention. The Karatas, developed by Suidobashi Heavy Industry, is a 4-meter-tall, diesel-powered robot that really blurs the line between fiction and reality. Now while not intended for frontline combat, the Karatas showcases the potential of large-scale robotics, especially when it comes to mobility and manipulation. Another ambitious project is the J-Deate Ride, which is a transforming robot that can switch between a humanoid form and a functional car. 
Although it's still in development, the J. Diete ride hints at the possibility of mobile command centers or heavily armed platforms capable of navigating complex environments. These projects, while they might seem a bit outlandish, highlight Japan's willingness to explore the outer limits of robotics technology. And while giant mechs may not be conquering battlefields anytime soon, the innovations and engineering feats they represent could have far-reaching implications for robotics development. Section 6. The Dual Edge of Technology, Disaster Relief and Robotic Response Japan's expertise in robotics extends far beyond the realm of military applications. You see the country's vulnerability to natural disasters like earthquakes, tsunamis and volcanic eruptions has driven the development of robots specifically designed for disaster relief and response. The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster back in 2011 was, well, a stark reminder of the need for robots capable of operating in hazardous environments. In the aftermath of that meltdown, robots were deployed to enter the highly radioactive reactor buildings, assess damage, and carry out critical tasks that were simply too dangerous for humans. And then there are Minesweeper Robot Dogs, another fascinating example of dual-use robotics. Originally designed for detecting and disarming landmines, these robots have proven invaluable in disaster zones. They navigate rubble and search for survivors in collapsed buildings, their agility and advanced sensors making them ideal for such perilous tasks. Japan's investment in disaster relief robotics not only saves lives, but also showcases the potential for these technologies to be used for humanitarian purposes. Plus, the lessons learned from these applications can then be applied to other fields, further advancing the field of robotics as a whole. Section 7. The AI Uprising Japan's Foray into Military Artificial Intelligence Now the true revolution in military robotics lies not just in the hardware but quite honestly, in the software. Artificial intelligence or AI is rapidly transforming warfare, enabling machines to make decisions, learn from experience and operate with increasing autonomy. Japan, as a technological powerhouse, is right at the forefront of this AI revolution. The country is developing sophisticated AI systems designed to enhance military decision-making, improve situational awareness, and automate complex tasks. One standout example is the Defense AI Cloud, also known as DAIC. This centralized command and control system gathers data from a variety of sources, satellites, drones, ground-based sensors, you name it. Using AI algorithms, it analyzes threats, predicts enemy movements, and recommends the best courses of action. And then there's Predictive Combat AI which takes things even further. By using historical data and real-time intelligence it simulates battlefield scenarios and anticipates enemy tactics. This gives military commanders the ability to make more informed decisions and, potentially, outmaneuver their opponents. Of course, the development of military AI raises some pretty serious ethical concerns, especially when it comes to autonomous weapon systems. Japan, with its pacifist constitution, faces the challenge of harnessing AI's power while ensuring that human oversight and ethical considerations remain, well, absolutely paramount. Section 8. Between Pacifism and Power, Navigating the Legal Landscape of Robotics Japan's pursuit of military robotics unfolds against a backdrop of, let's just say, complex legal and ethical considerations. The country's pacifist constitution, specifically Article 9, restricts the development of offensive military capabilities, raising questions about the legality of autonomous weapon systems. Even so, Japan maintains that its robotics program is purely defensive in nature. The government emphasizes the non-lethal applications of these technologies, particularly their use in disaster relief, surveillance, and reconnaissance. But honestly, the line between offensive and defensive capabilities can be a bit blurry, especially when it comes to autonomous weapons systems. The potential for AI-powered robots to make life-or-death decisions without human intervention is, understandably, a serious ethical concern. To address these issues, Japan has established strict guidelines for the development and deployment of military robots. Every robotic weapon system undergoes rigorous testing to ensure compliance with international humanitarian law standards. On top of that, an ethics committee oversees the development of autonomous systems, ensuring that human oversight and control remain central to their operation. As Japan navigates these legal and ethical complexities, it faces the challenge of balancing technological advancement with its steadfast commitment to peace and international humanitarian law. Section 9. A New Arms Race? Japan's Place in the Global Robotic Stage Japan's emergence as a major player in military robotics reflects a broader global trend towards automation in warfare. Around the world, countries are investing heavily in these technologies, recognizing their potential to, well, revolutionize the battlefield. The United States, with its vast military-industrial complex, remains a global leader in robotics development. From armed drones to autonomous submarines, the U.S. military has already deployed a wide array of robotic systems. Meanwhile, China, with its rapidly growing economy and military ambitions, is also making huge strides in robotics. The country has developed unmanned aerial vehicles, ground robots, and even autonomous naval vessels. In this emerging global robotics race, Japan occupies a rather unique position. 
Its technological prowess and commitment to innovation make it a formidable competitor. However, its pacifist constitution and focus on defensive capabilities set it apart from countries like the US and China. Rather than diving headfirst into an all-out arms race, Japan is positioning itself as a leader in responsible robotics development. The country highlights the dual-use nature of its technologies, emphasizing their potential for disaster relief, humanitarian aid, and international cooperation. As the world grapples with the implications of military robotics, Japan's approach offers a potential model for others to follow. By prioritizing ethical considerations, fostering international cooperation, and focusing on the peaceful applications of these technologies, Japan aims to shape the future of warfare in a responsible and humane direction.